Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Our seed catalog is on its way, and there's information about hundreds of seed varieties. Today, I'm going to demystify some common seed terms. Some common terms associated with seeds are organic, non-GMO, open pollinated, hybrid, and some uncommon terms are indeterminate, determinate, long day, and short day. Here at Peaceful Valley, our vegetable seeds are certified organic, meaning our seed is grown on certified organic farms without the use of substances like synthetic fungicides or petroleum-based fertilizers, just to name a couple. One of the reasons it's important to grow organic seeds is because Crops that are grown for seed stay in the field much longer than crops that are grown for food. Non-organic farmers are permitted to use more pest control than is allowed for food crops. That translates to more synthetic pesticides in the environment. Seeds from plants grown organically are better adapted to organic gardening than their non-organic counterparts. There are hundreds of varieties of organic seeds. And when you buy organic seed, you're sending a message to farmers that that's what you want. We've seen a great response from consumer demand. So buy the seed that you believe in. Non-GMO, what does that mean? GMO stands for genetically modified organism. GMO seeds are created in a laboratory outside of regular plant breeding and ancient cross-pollination methods. What it means is that the DNA of the plant was spliced with the DNA of a completely different organism, such as a bacteria. Peaceful Valley has signed the Safe Seed Pledge, and we don't sell any seeds that are GMO. Besides, who wants rat genes in your lettuce? The majority of our seeds are open pollinated, meaning that bees and other pollinators have done the pollination. Peaceful Valley's organic vegetable seed line contains many heirloom varieties. Heirloom varieties are open pollinated varieties that have been in existence over 50 years and are not widely grown commercially. A few select seeds that we carry are hybrids, like the brocade corn, and it's indicated as such in the catalog. Hybrids are created when humans do the pollinating, instead of bees. People take pollen from one variety with a tool like an eyeshadow brush and pollinate the flower of a second variety. The seed that results from the pollinated flower is designated an F1, or a first-generation hybrid. If you save the seed from a hybrid, there is no guarantee that the plant that grows will be like its parent. There's some basic planting instructions communicated on the pack as well. For example, this seed needs the soil to be 60 to 65 degrees to germinate. Days to maturity is critical information, and you're going to need to know your frost-free dates. For example, here in the foothills, our last frost comes sometime before Mother's Day. And our first frost is usually here by November 1st. Once you know your frost-free dates, you can figure out the length of your growing season. When looking at seed packs, find the days to maturity and pick a variety that matches your growing season. Days to maturity are counted from when a plant starts growing in the garden soil. Day one is when a seed that has been sown directly in the garden sprouts, or from when you transplant a vegetable plant that you started indoors. So when calculating how long something will take to grow, add the days to germination along with the days to maturity. Seed packs also list a packed for a year. This helps you keep track of when you purchased your seeds. Some vegetables have classifications that will affect how they grow. And onions and tomatoes are two of the most common. Tomatoes are divided into indeterminate varieties and determinate varieties. Determinate tomatoes are compact bush type of plants and will give you a full crop nearly all at the same time and then die back. These are perfect for canning and preserving. An indeterminate tomato is a vining tomato, and it will produce fruit throughout the season until it's killed by frost. Onions are classified as long day, intermediate day, or short day. This is less confusing than it sounds. The closer to the Earth's poles you live, the more your hours of daylight vary throughout the year. Long day onions need daylight reaching 14 to 16 hours in order to bulb. Short-day onions start to bulb when they get about 10 hours of daylight. 
Intermediate day varieties bulb up when the light is between 12 and 14 hours. Long story short, if you live in the north, plant long day. In the south, short day. And intermediate day, just about everywhere. The only places intermediate day won't do well are South Florida or South Texas. Research what varieties are best for you by reading the back of the seed packs. Choose organic seeds and grow organic for life.